Hi, this is Matt Hug with Think MP, and I have with me today Joe Tumalo of JoeTumalo.com. Pleasure to be here, Matt. I love what you guys are doing. I hope I can add value. Well, thanks, Joe. And yeah. you know, Joe does a lot of things, but he does them well. I mean, he's an author, he's a speaker, he's a consultant, he's a trainer, and honestly, he's an all-around good guy. And I know this because other people tell me. And that's what we're going to talk a bit about right now is reputation and how reputation works in building your business. Now, my mother would say your reputation precedes you, right? That people hear about you before they even meet you. They might say, oh yeah, I've heard of that guy, you know, and they think well or not of you or they have certain idea of what you do, even though it may or may not be wrong. So how have you built, I mean, you've been in this business broadly for 15 years, your yes. own consultancy for three. Correct. How have you built your reputation? Well, one person at a time. It sounds like a, a winery or something. One, one yeah. bottle of one little, bottle at a time, right? <laughs> a little cliched, but we'll get we'll yeah. over there. But but it's relationships, right? And it's managing relationships. Mm -hmm. It's being intentional about developing relationships. One of my favorite mantras is from a guy, Zig Ziglar. Okay. One of the early self-development gurus, mm -hmm. and he said, "You can get anything you want in life if you help enough other people get what they want." There you go. So a lot of my values and focus are around how do I help other people get what they want. So it could be, and, and you and I, we exchange business uh, referrals all the time, yep. right? And so if I have a relationship with someone that I feel is too one-sided, that they're giving me a lot of introductions or referrals and I'm not reciprocating, sure. then I'm constantly thinking about and talking to them and saying, hey, I feel like this is one-sided how can I help you? How can I return the favor? If I can't give you a, an introduction or a referral directly, maybe I can introduce you to somebody else or watch so, your so car you're, every you're week. Help, or, yeah, well, oh, okay, <laughs> we'll, we'll work on that car thing. Uh, so, um, no, that makes sense though. That you're interacting with them, they're getting positive experiences from you, and, and e even if they're not clients, there are other people in your network that are doing And this. they're helping me build the reputation, right? right. Exactly. So they're saying, you know, this is a good guy. He gets it. He's not just a go getter. He's a go giver. He's not. He's certainly not a taker, which right. is really important. And so that, and I believe that the more you give other people, the more it sounds cliche. The more you get back, right? Mm -hmm. And so in business, so have an abundance mentality. There is plenty of business out there. Yeah, it's not. A, you're saying it's not a fixed pie. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> okay. There's so much business. There's so much need in the nonprofit space for what we do. Right. Right. Uh, and just having that abundance mentality and that ability to say, you know what? That's, I'm not the best fit for that. So, but maybe you should talk to Matt Hug. So, well, there you go. Right, which so, we do. Right, we so, each do that. So, tell me now, what one or two things do you do besides? I mean, uh, you say, well, meet people, network, and all that kind of stuff, right? But w name a couple of specific things you do that are intentional reputation builders. Well, that is number one. That's huge. That's probably my number one is relationships and helping other people get what they want. Okay, it's huge should not be overlooked. Or right. Uh, devalued. Mm -hmm. Number two is with clients, mm. uh, making sure I do everything I can to exceed their expectations. All right. Now, so, does that mean set the bar low? <laughs> <laughs> You're giving all my secrets away, Mac. Yeah, really. <laughs> well, certainly not that I do every time. Yeah. But to sit down with the client up front and say, what do you expect out of our relationship? Sure. And it's our job as consultants to manage that on okay. a consistent basis. So most of my clients, we do a 30-day check-in. Mm -hmm. Is this working? Right. Are you getting out of what you want out of the relationship? Am I? Am I adding value? Am I hopefully creating value? So it, so do you promise things and, and, and are they trying to base it on, well, you, you promised me that we would raise $50,000 by the end of the month and you haven't. I mean, is that the kind of thing we're talking about? No, and that's a whole okay. other topic for another video, right. maybe, is how do you measure success in the work we do. Fair, right? fair enough. So a topic maybe for another video. No, careful too. I don't overpromise, right? right. Overpromise. Underpromise, over deliver. Yeah. 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 But it's that constant check-in, and I see this with some consultants who are so busy, have such a big caseload of work, that they're I don't know that they're really doing that check-in, that gut okay. check with the client on a regular basis. Right. Right. Uh, they're under pressure to, to get on to the next client. Mm -hmm. And maybe they feel like, you know what, sometimes I'm afraid to ask the client if they're happy because if they say no, then I'm either going to have to do a lot of work yeah. or I might lose the client. They right. might say, boy, right. now that you mention it, Matt, well, I'm not and, happy. And actually what that might cause, however, is that you need to charge a bit more because 
you you are being consistent with them there is that danger of having to do more work and so you're offering a higher level of service absolutely concierge right. level service no. is what i strive to do okay because there's a lot of consultants out there uh, all great people and i'm not disparaging and, and a mm -hmm. lot of them doing a lot more business than i am sure but they get into that cookie cutter boilerplate approach right and right. a uni uh, university's needs may not be the same as a local animal rescue there you go. I would say that you could say yes, theoretically, a lot, it is all about donors and relationships, but the methodology and the processes that they use and the constituency and how many gift officers they have, that's all different. So right. standardize and process, but customize as well. But that all comes out, that back to the point, the main point of this, this video is about reputation, right? right? And so one client at a time, I know somebody said that years ago, we build our reputation one client at a time. It's cliche for a reason because it's true yeah. yeah yeah well great well joe thank you so much that's really good information for folks to have and now remind everybody how do they get a hold of you joetumalo.com spelled how j-o-e-t-u-m-o-l-o okay there you go joe tumalo of joetumalo.com and uh a guy with pretty good reputation this is matt hug for think mp thanks for watching